Yeah, and I have made this video especially for anyone who wants to maximize the outcome when it comes to getting new members, whilst minimizing the actual spend that they're spending on Facebook. Now, of course, if you can find something that works, a system that works, a system that's scalable and actually gets you results, then you should try and put as much money into it as you possibly can, because then you're going to get the results out. But I'm not blind to the fact that there's people who just don't have, you know, the the enough money right now to put hundreds and hundreds, thousands and thousands into Facebook every single month, hoping and praying for a result. And I wouldn't encourage that by any means, because I think there's a lot of people out there who spend thousands on Facebook, have no clue what they're doing, get okay results because of the amount of money that they're putting in. But if they actually worked with someone like us who, you know, puts the correct systems in place, they'd get way better results than they're currently getting. But this is all about, and this is all for the martial arts schools who want to minimize the spend that they're actually spending whilst maximizing that outcome. Now, I'm going to get rid of my camera in a minute because I want you to completely focus on what I'm talking about and completely focus on the screen. Um, this video may genuinely change your life. So if you're someone who, you know, only has space, like you've got, I don't know, you've got 20 members right now and you want to get to 35 and getting to 35 will genuinely change things for you. This video could potentially do that for you. So I want you to fully focus on the things that I'm talking about, the things that I'm saying. And if you've got like a phone in your hand that you're just scrolling through as this is on, please, I encourage you to put it down and replace it with a pen and fucking paper and just write down what it is that we're going through. Because what I'm going to go through here has took me years and years to actually fully understand and fully comprehend. And I want to give it to you in a short, what, 20, 30 minute video. So yeah, I've taken the time to make this video for you. So please take the time to actually watch it and maybe even go ahead and implement the things I talk about so you can get the results that I want you to get. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the actual camera. I want to speak like literally to you. I want you to fully focus on the screen at all times. Um, and let's get into it. Let's get smashing it for you. So this is all about student acquisition. It's how to minimize ad spend. So how to minimize ad spend or minimize spend, but maximize your results. Now I put a post on my Facebook recently and it got like 60 comments all about, I was, I was gonna make this video and like 60 different people commented and said they need this video in their life. So I've gone ahead and made it for you. I've made it my priority to make this video. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully um, you, you get a lot from it as much as I obviously I want to give you, I want you to take this video, fully understand it, and then be able to look at your current system and see where you are going wrong and why you put money onto Facebook and you don't get any results. Cool. Let's go over to here. So this video is perfect for you. If you don't have much money to spend on Facebook ads, you need members. So you've obviously got space in your school. You're fed up of getting low quality leads coming through. Um, leads never reply. So sometimes you run Facebook ads or you run any way of running advertising and then you're contacting people and people just never get back to you and it's starting to stress you out. Or when you finally do have a conversation with someone, they don't even bother turning up to the class. So is that you? <laughs> is, is, is that something that kind of rings home true? Is that kind of feel like it's something that you experience? Well, if it is, that's awesome because I've actually got the answer and we're going to, you know, identify why you're having these problems and we're going to fix them for you today. Cool. So my goal is I want to make martial arts member acquisition easy. I want martial arts schools to completely understand how to get new members into their schools. Now, the people who work with us, we guarantee 50 to 100, legally guarantee 50 to 100 new members in their school in 90 days or less. Not everyone can afford that service. It's created, that service was created to be fucking unbelievable. It was not created to be really, really cheap. Um, so not everyone can afford that service, but I still have the goal of making member acquisition easy for martial arts schools. So that's why I make videos like this completely, completely for free, because I want you guys to understand what goes on in my head and how easy we see member acquisition. Cool. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm actually going to dive into the reasons why you face all these problems. And then I'm going to go over how we're actually going to fix these problems and how you can do it cheaply. So you don't have to spend much money on Facebook advertising, but you still get a good few members coming through every single month. Cool. So going down, this is basically what our goal is. Um, we want to take people from being complete strangers to being full paying members. Um, let me actually put full, full paying 
members. Okay, so that's our goal. It's a straight line. We literally want to take people from being a complete stranger all the way to being a full paying member. That is what we want to do. Um, now, what a lot of people think is the way to do this is Facebook advertising, Facebook ads, or Google ads, or TikTok, or referral schemes, or whatever it is that you use to get leads. That's what people think the answer to this is. Um, we need to take people from being strangers to being full paying members. They think the tool to do that is Facebook ads, Google ads, or TikTok. Now, that is not true. That is not true at all. Facebook ads, TikTok, whatever you use, Google ads, um, that is just a way to take someone from being a stranger to the first stage. Um, and there's still a lot of room to actually get people to full paying member. So I'm actually going to break this down and show you what I mean by this. So this is what Facebook ads slash Google ads, et cetera, is the answer to. It takes people, let me move this down because we're going to go through this in a minute. Um, it takes people from being a stranger to being a lead. So if you employ Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok, whatever it is that you, you use, you're going to take someone from being a stranger to a lead. As you can see, we still need to get them all the way to being a full paying member. We've got to go for a few different stages to get there. We've got to have a conversation with them. We've got to get them booked in for a class. We need to get them to turn up to the door. And then when they turn up to the door, we need to convert them into a full paying member. So the problem is a lot of people are looking at Facebook ads and getting £10 per lead and then saying, no, I'm not getting any new members coming into my school. I need £5 per lead. Or you're getting £20 per lead. And obviously that is an issue. We, we want the cost per lead as low as possible to maximize the chances of getting new members. But you, you, you're spending £20 per lead and then you're saying, no, I need to get my cost per lead down to £10 per lead and then I'll be getting members. But that isn't the actual issue because you are getting people to the lead stage. Obviously you wanna get more people to the lead stage, but the reason why you're not getting full paying members at the end of it is because you're missing out all of this. As you can see, this part is considerably bigger than this part. So if we're only focusing on this, what are the chances of taking a lot of people all the way down to being a full paying member? It's not going to happen, is it? So what we need to do is we need to go through this system. I'm going to I've broke it down very, very easily. Um, now, just to give you an understanding for our clients who actually pay us, we build out this entire system for them completely. So we take people from strangers all the way to turning up to their door, and then all they need to do is convert them into a member. So we take care of the entire acquisition process for them. You probably don't have that luxury at the moment. So I'm going to show you how you can, you know, fix this issue yourself without really paying us any money. So first thing we want to do is we want to take someone from a stranger to a lead. Um, so that's through Facebook ads. When I actually go into the steps, I'll talk about that a little bit more. But obviously, most people understand you need to have a Facebook ad, you need to have a Google ad, you need to have some sort of way to turn someone into a lead. Now, you've probably already understand how to do that. If you don't understand how to do that, then I would recommend possibly two things. Number one, um, and, and and this also goes for anyone who's, you know, not getting the cost per lead that they want. Like, sometimes you might need to invest. But so step one, you need to run Facebook ads that actually get cheap leads. So if you're getting like £25 per lead, £30 per lead, your chances of being able to only spend £100 per month and get really good results is not going to happen um, or spend £200 a month or £300 a month or however small your budget is and actually get some good results isn't going to happen because you're spending way too much to actually get these leads to begin with. So your first problem is that your Facebook ads just aren't very strong. So obviously you can ignore this if you, your Facebook ads are getting like five pound per lead or whatever. But if they aren't, then you, that's your first problem. Your first problem is your Facebook ads just aren't giving you a strong enough cost per lead. Now there's two ways you can fix this. There's the free way, which is go over to my YouTube channel. Go over to my YouTube channel. Here's one I used to fight, cool. Um, anyway, go over to my YouTube channel. And this video here, which is the full campaign walkthrough, you can go ahead and you can watch that and you can copy my Facebook ad campaign. This is how we used to run Facebook ads for our clients about six months ago. Um, and we used to get some decent results with it. Or what you can do is you can go over to this page here and you can buy my really cheap course and copy the way that we run Facebook ads now. So we get our clients now between one and five pound per lead. The results we get from this campaign 
is way, way, way better than what we get from this campaign. But those are your two options now. So either buy this course, copy it completely. It will take you about an hour to do. Copy this course and you'll have leads for between one and five pound. Or you can go ahead and just watch this video, try and copy this one, and then hopefully you'll get leads for like 10 pound-ish. Um, yeah, those, those are your two options if you, your Facebook leads are the actual issue and you're not actually getting enough leads coming through. Cool, so we've fixed that problem now. So step one is complete. You wanna run Facebook ads that actually get cheap results. Your chance, the way to do that is I'll go over to my YouTube channel or use the link that's gonna be below this video. Cool, wicked. Now we need to turn someone from a lead into a conversation. Now this is where most people get stuck. They get loads of leads come through or they get some leads come through and then they complain that nobody actually wants to speak to you. Now, the reason nobody wants to speak to you, you either have no one answers the phone or you have a don't remember filling in the lead form or they're just not interested anymore. So that's kind of the same one. No interest anymore. Cool. So these are usually the two issues that you face at this point. So you're trying to get into a conversation with someone and they either just don't answer the phone, you never actually speak to them, or they don't remember filling in the lead form, or they're just not interested anymore. So you have to get rid of them at this stage. Now, these, there's an easy fix for both of these problems. So the first one where no one answers the phone, just put more effort into actually contacting them. Look, I know that's probably not the answer you wanted to hear. <clears throat> you can automate it in some ways, but we wanna put more effort into contacting people. Now, emails is probably the weakest way to contact people. So if you're only contacting people through email, I'd probably just get rid of that because no one really replies to emails. And the reason is emails have like a 20 to 30% open rate, which is absolutely horrendous. Text messages have a 90% open rate. So instead of sending emails, why don't you just send them as text messages? So if we sent six text messages across the first six days after they became a lead and all of the text messages said, hi, name, thanks for claiming your free trial, your child's free trial, obviously you want to put all like that, free trial, what is your child's name, then chances are they're going to actually get back to you. Um, if you basically put some sort of message in this way, like six times. Now, whenever you send text messages to contact people, always finish with a direct question. So let's imagine we've had 10 leads come through. What we'd want to do is we'd want to send all of these 10 people a message like six times. Obviously, if you can automate it, that's going to make your life easier. Um, you want to send them a message six times. And if they don't reply after like six times, then obviously you can get rid of them and then move on to the next ones. But we kind of want to send them like six messages that all finish with the same like question. So if you don't finish with a question, people are less likely to answer it. So we want to send them like six different messages that say, hey, John, thanks for claiming your child's free trial. What's your child's name? Hey, John, still didn't hear back from you. Um, can't wait to get you guys booked in. What's your child's name? Hey, John, just checking in. Looking forward to seeing you and your child at the first class. What is your child's name or what is your kid's name? But do you see what I mean? Like, we always want to finish with a direct question. People are a lot more likely to answer things when it's a direct question. I see some people, when they get a lead, they just send them one massive fuck off text message that has like 55 paragraphs. We don't want to be doing that. We need to keep it simple. We want to actually get them to reply. I don't reply to messages that are 55 paragraphs long. You probably wouldn't reply to messages that are 55 paragraphs long. So let's stop sending huge messages and we'll get more replies there. Cool. So that is how we get past the no one answering the phone part. We just send loads and loads of messages. The more messages you're willing to send, the more effort you're willing to put in, like phone in them, etc. The more effort you're willing to put in, the more people you'll notice will answer the phone. If you are only having like 5% of your leads answering or ever getting back to you or 10% of your leads ever getting back to you, I'm sorry to tell you this, but that is probably your fault, not their fault. You're just not really putting in the effort that's required to actually get a reply from them. Cool. 
So as, as I said, we actually automate this process. So the reason why I'm telling you that is because we automate just text messages. We don't even phone anyone and we still get on average 50 to 60% of the people actually entering a conversation with us and actually replying to the text messages. So that's how I know that if you're getting 5% or 10% or no percent people actually replying to you, then you're just not putting in enough effort to actually get the reply. Cool. Next thing, the next issue that we have at this stage is people tend to not remember filling in the lead form or they don't have any interest anymore. Now, this is a really, really easy fix. You just need to message people quicker. So as soon as you get a lead, realistically, you want to be contacting that lead within five minutes of them becoming a lead. The chances of them converting then, uh, if you don't contact someone within five minutes of them becoming a lead, the chances of them converting drops by 80%. So the reason for this is because they are at the height of interest when they fill in the form. So realistically, we want to get them when they're at the height of interest. So what I would recommend to fix this problem is get a down, get Zapier. This is the cheapest fix for this problem. Get Zapier. And then when a lead comes through, there's loads of tutorials that I'll show you how to do this. You want to basically set it. So when a Facebook lead comes through, um, you automatically get a text message to yourself let you know so when a lead comes through you'll get a text message straight away and then you can jump straight onto your phone and text the lead and basically send them that first message that i showed you so if you can contact them quicker you're going to have a lot less people saying that they're not interested anymore or they don't remember filling in a form we don't really get that as, as a problem anymore because of how quickly we contact people. So those are the two fixes for this one. Now, just so you know, you might be thinking, oh, Donovan, I'm already, already up. I just want the quick fix. There's not a quick fix for this. I'm trying to give you loads of quick fixes to show you how you can better get more people going from stranger to member. If you are currently getting 20 leads and out of those 20 leads, no members turn up, then when you fix all these little problems along the stages, you're going to be able to get 20 leads and get like five members turn up. Now, that's considerably more profit than one member or no members. So by fixing all these little problems along the line, you're just going to get better results. And then you'll be able to put less money into advertising. Like, And then eventually you'll get your members, you'll get enough members <clears throat> that you'll love life. And then you'll be able to have enough money to invest in someone amazing like us who can then guarantee you your next 50 to 100 members <clears throat> you can pay us we'll do all of this work for you and then all you have to do is turn them into a member when they come through the door so by putting in the hard work now it means you're going to be able to actually put money down in the future which is going to then make growth really 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 easy cool so we've turned them from a lead and we've got them into a conversation because we've contacted them a load of times, like six times. We've got a reply from them and now we are having a conversation with them. Now, a lot of people get stuck at this point. They finally got a reply from someone. They get excited and they send them a massive text message to try and get them booked in. So they'll send them a text message and say, hey, John, it's Donovan here from Dro Martial Arts. Um, I just wanted to give you information about our classes. Our classes are at 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., blah, 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 and just a load of waffle that no one's going to reply to um, because no one's got time to read a text message with that much information in. All you need to do, all you need to do very simply is find out how old their child is if it's a child's class, if it's not an adult, if it's not a child's class, then obviously you don't need to know this, but how old their child is. If their child is seven and you've got five, four to seven classes or three, four to seven classes or four, four to seven classes, all I want you to do is say to them, so, so first off, you find out how old their child is. So you say, hey, John, how old is your child? And he's going to say seven. And then you're going to say, awesome, John. Um, and I'd probably write this down if I was you. Awesome, John. We've got a few different options for children who are seven years old. We've got, and then what day is it today? It's Tuesday. So I'd say we've got tomorrow at 6 p.m. or we've got Thursday at 5 p.m. Which one would be better for you? So we've gave them two options. We don't confuse them. We don't give them too many options. Um, and we say, which one is best for you? We want to avoid yes or no questions. So there's a lot of golden nuggets I'm giving you here. Um, I understand, so you're probably not going to remember them all, so you might want to watch this video again. Um, but we want to basically say to them which option is best for you. So that's the second one. Now, if they are umming and ahhing over whether to come to the Thursday one or the Wednesday one, they'll probably just pick one 
and then they'll probably just stick to it. Now, if they really can't make it to the Wednesday or the Thursday, they'll tell you, and then you can give them two more options as well. But by giving it this way, it's really, really simple for them to answer it. You want to make it as simple as possible for your prospect to be able to answer the questions. And then you're going to get more people going from a conversation section to a book in section. Now, when you're asking people, have they done martial arts in the past? Have they done this? Uh, this question, this question, this question, this question, this question. I know what you think you're doing. You think you're building rapport. But I promise you, all you're doing is making sure that less people go from conversation to actually being booked in. So you want to limit the amount of questions that you're asking. We ask about three before we get people booked in. And it goes quite well. We get a decent short rate too. So which day works best for you is the question that we ask. And then John has said Thursday. What we go ahead and do there is generally we'll probably book John in, get a confirmation sent over. And then we'd say, awesome, John, you're all booked in. Just want to check what is your child's name? So we get them confirmed and then we ask the child's name. But for simplicity reasons, I've put what is your child's name here as one of the questions. That's obviously a question you want to ask next. Once you know their child's name, you can go ahead and book in, book them in. Now, if your system requires you to know their address and this and that and this and that and this and that, you need to find a way around that because you're never going to get good results if you have to ask a load of stupid questions to get people booked in. People don't want to give you their address. They don't want to answer, you know, they don't want to just answer loads and loads of questions. If you ask them these three questions, you'll get a lot more people getting to this stage, I promise you. It's all about simplicity and taking someone from one set part to the next part. So if I go up here, we want to take people from stranger to a full pay member as quickly as physically possible. Look, that we want to take them there as quickly as physically possible. So we want to have as little resistance through these stages as physically possible. So that is what, what we're building. So take them from conversation to actually booked in. We've asked those questions. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to take someone from booked in to actually being at the front door. So they've booked in for the class. They've booked in for Thursday um, at 6 p.m. What we have personally is we have a confirmation that sends straight away. So if you need to do it manually, then do go ahead and do it manually. Our confirmation literally says, hey, John, you are all booked in now. This is your confirmation that you are all booked in now. See you at Thursday at 6 p.m. And then maybe like bring some water, make sure your child brings some water and wears some comfortable clothing or whatever you want to put. Don't make the confirmation too long. Some people put massive, massive amounts of information. A lot of people don't need loads of information when they haven't actually came to your classes yet. Cool. So we've sent the confirmation. Next thing we want to do is we want to send reminders, reminders, and reminders. So we tend to send a reminder two days out. So two days before the class, we send a reminder. A day before the class, we send a reminder. And four hours before the class, we send a reminder. Now, if you're not sending any sort of reminders when you've booked people in, then number one, that's a little bit lazy. And number two, they are probably going to either forget about your class, they're going to feel like they're not very important, and they're just probably not going to turn up to your class. So we need to be sending reminders if we want to guarantee a higher show up rate. Now, if you haven't got much money to spend on advertising, then every lead matters to you. And if every lead matters to you, then you need to put in maximum effort to make sure they actually turn up to your door. To do that, you need to either have automated confirmations and reminders, um, or you need to just like actually take the time to send a quick text message to remind people to turn up to the class. Um, cool. And then once you've done that, they'll obviously turn up to the door. After that, now, as, as I said, we do all of this on for our service. So you, you wouldn't need to do any of this. And we just automate a lot of it. And then obviously have a team in-house that conversates with the leads to actually get them from this stage to this stage. So when you get to a point where you can afford that, then, you know, these effort that you don't want to do now will be a thing of the past. So just think of it as a short-term problem, realistically. And then once you've got enough money and enough members and enough money in the pot, you'll be able to invest in like someone like us who can just do take all of this off your hands for you. Cool. Now, once you've got someone to the door, this is not my expertise. I do not own a martial arts school. But the key things that our clients say that they do to ensure a high sign-up rate is they greet people as soon as they turn up at the door. So as soon as someone turns up the door, straight away, they'll stop the conversation that they're having with someone else and they'll say, hey, um, I'll be with you in 30 seconds and then smile at them, then go back to their conversation. So you want to greet people as quickly as physically possible, you know, First time impression matters. You can never do a first, you can't do a, a first impression twice, can you? So you want to show people that you care straight away. Next thing you want to do is you want to find out their why. You want to find out why they're actually turning up to their class. Oh, Tommy, my little Tommy is being bullied. 
um, or maybe it's a, a woman who wants to lose weight, whatever their issue is, you want to find out why it is that they're actually doing their classes. This is very, very important. Because it means that at the end, when you get try and get them to sign up, you can actually bring up their reason why. So give them an amazing class. And then step four is circle back to their why and actually try and sign them up. I can't believe how many people don't try and sign people up on the day. And they don't do it because, I don't know, it maybe feels awkward. But if you're just letting people walk out the door, then there was no point to go doing all of this effort in the first place. You need to actually ask people to sign up. So, for example, if someone's just told you told you at the start of the class that they want to lose weight, you know, they're not feeling very happy about themselves, and you give them an amazing class, and at the end you can basically say to them, look, I think six months down the line you're going to feel like a completely different person. You're definitely going to lose weight. Did, did you enjoy the class? Yeah, I enjoyed the class. Awesome. Let's get you signed up. And then just sign them up. Like, it's not difficult. If you think you genuinely solve their problem, then it's your duty if you actually care about them. In fact, I'm, I'm going to put that as, an, as another one that, actually give a fuck like if you actually care then you, you shouldn't have any problem asking people to sign up because you know it's in their best interest to do your classes the only reason you wouldn't put effort into getting someone to sign up is if you thought your service wasn't very good and i'm sure that's not the case so if your service is actually genuinely good and you genuinely solve people's problems then it, you should have no problem trying to get people to sign up it's the same reason i have no problem trying to sign people up to ask service like our service is fucking amazing we get people ridiculous results we change their lives so i've got no problem pushing you to try and get you to join that service because i know that your life will be better because of it <laughs> like it's that simple so this is the system that everyone goes through um to actually get members to turn up to the door they take someone from a stranger all the way to being a member through all of those stages that i just spoke about now if you are short on money and you know you have a limited spend that you limited amount of money that you can spend, I would literally run Facebook ads until you hit the point where you've got too many leads to be able to keep doing this. Turn your Facebook ads off, put all of your effort into contacting your current leads every single day, send them a message. Now, if you can find a system that does that for you, awesome. Um, we obviously have a system as well. So if you, if you want us to do it for you, then we, we can do that. We can guarantee you cool results. Um, so obviously then turn your Facebook ads off, put all your effort into contacting the leads, get as many of those into a conversation as possible. After the conversation, so your Facebook ads are still off at this point. After the conversation, so you want to ask all these questions in the conversation, get as many of the leads booked in as possible. Send confirmations to all the leads so they can turn up at the door. Then when they turn up at the door, do this cool stuff, get members, and then turn your Facebook ads back on and repeat. That is what I would do if you don't have automated systems in your place. In, sorry, automated systems in your martial arts school that can do all of that for you. I would manually run the Facebook ads, get enough leads, contact the leads as quickly as you physically can. Then when you have too many leads that you physically can't contact them, as I said, turn your ads off, go all the way down this chain, get as many members as you can out the back end, and then start again and restart that ad. Like, that is what I would do. Don't just continuously run Facebook ads, get a list of leads build up that you can't possibly contact, and then just continue running Facebook ads because that's what everyone else tells you to do. Don't do that. Like, I know I'm going against what most marketers say. Most marketers say just continuously run ads. But if you haven't got a system in place that can continuously generate members out the back end, then just running Facebook ads is just continuously getting you leads. You're not able to contact those leads because you've got too many of those leads, which then means you haven't got the time to actually turn people from leads into full paying members, which, yeah, kind of defeats the object. Cool. Anyway, that's the whole, that, that's, that's that part of the video. I hope that makes sense. Like, as I said, just run Facebook ads that get leads turn off the leads and, you know, turn off the Facebook ads and then focus on this part and then go back to it. That's what I would personally do. Um, I broke it down into six simple steps um, as far as what this is over here. Step one, I'd run Facebook ads that actually get cheap leads. If you have no clue how to run Facebook ads, just stop running ads because you have no clue. Like, I know you think you're saving money by not investing into, you know, understanding Facebook ads better but you're not, you're wasting your money. So please just use this link. It's in the link, it's in the description below. It's a course that's like 250 quid and you're getting the Facebook ads that we charge like thousands to do for our clients. So go steal that, 
<laughs> if you go onto the link, this the if you go onto the link, as you can see, time was up ages ago. I've only just restarted this page. I've restarted this page back up, especially for this video, because I know it will help you guys like ridiculously. Like ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously. So I've restarted this page back up. I haven't put the price up for the course, and I just want a few of you guys to just go over there, take the course, and just actually start getting a good cost per lead. Cool. Next thing you need to do, step two, um, put the effort in to actually get a reply. If you're not willing to put the effort in to get a reply, then either pay someone like us to do that for you or just don't bother running Facebook ads because it's not going to work if you're not going to try. Step three, ask the questions that matter. So only ask three questions. You know, how old is their child? Which day is best? What's your child's name? Like, ask the questions that matter. Don't just ask loads and loads and loads of questions and write loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of content and information about your school because I promise you they don't care and you're actually making it harder for them to book in. Step four, book them in. Simple, nice and easy. Step five, reminder, reminder, reminder. I also want to put confirmation there. So we want to give them a confirmation, wherever that's manual or automated. Confirmation that they've been booked in. Send them reminders. Reminders need to be sent by text message. Everything here needs to be sent by text message. If you've got a CRM that only does email, that is not good enough. You know, emails have a 20 to 30% open rate. That is not strong enough. That means 20 to 30 of the people who you book in are getting the confirmations and the reminders. You need to be sending them by text message. You need to be sending them by text message. Look, there's no way around this. You have to send them by text message. Um, so either find an automated system that does that for you, come and speak to us, or just send them manually through text message. You need to be doing that. They have a 90% open rate. It's considerably better than email. And then step six, meet them at the door and sign them up. Like, it's that simple. Like, that's the only steps you need to do. But most people stop at this part. In fact, most people don't even get cheap leads. <laughs> so they don't have any of that. Um, but yeah, this is how I see the acquisition system for martial arts schools. If you can understand that we're taking people from a stranger to a member, and these are all the points people go through in between, and you can simplify it as much as possible, then you're going to be onto a winner. So for the last time before I close off this video, um, before I close off this video yo that camera's huge before i close off this video for the very very last time you want to run facebook ads that take people from a stranger to being a, a a lead you want to turn that lead into a conversation and the way to do that is you know in fact we turn off the facebook lead ads at this point so if we've got like loads of leads and we're trying to contact them as quickly as possible we're just getting too many coming through turn your facebook ads off Spend all your time trying to get people into a conversation. Get these people into a conversation and get them booked in. Get the people who were booked in to turn up at the door by using confirmations and reminders. And then when they turn up at the door, give them an amazing class, find out their why, re-bring their why back to them when you're trying to sign them up and sign people up very simply. So that is how I see acquisition systems. That is how I would do it if you had a limited amount of money and you don't have an automated system in place. Um, I hope that has helped you guys understand better how you can actually get results. Go ahead and implement it. Please, you know, go over, watch that YouTube video that I made that goes through how to run Facebook ads or go and steal this course from us um, and it will give you absolutely disgustingly good results. And yeah, I, I hope that makes sense. The only reason I put this video together was because so many people asked me for it. So I put a post on Facebook. And everyone wanted this video. So there was a clear hunger for it. So I made it my priority to make it. So if you found this helpful and genuinely think, you know, you, you've benefited from it, please let me know. <laughs> like, please put a comment like on, on this video and just let me know that you've, you've found it genuinely helpful because the feedback means a lot. And knowing that I'm making acquisition for martial arts schools as easy as possible means a, a fucking lot to me. It, it really does. So, you know, if you found the benefit in this, then please let me know. Please share this video with, you know, some of your friends, anyone who you think would struggle, is also struggling with getting new members. Um, I hope you've appreciated it and I hope you've, you've enjoyed it. I know this has been longer than the, the videos that I usually shoot, but I, I needed to give a proper deep dive into this. Um, I've still tried to be straight to the point. I've still tried to, you know, not really like sell my own services and focus more on actually helping you guys. So I hope you, uh, I hope you, you know, get some results from it. Cool. My name's Donovan. I help martial arts schools grow uh, by building acquisition systems for them. If you found it useful, then let me know in the comment section below. If you want to find out more about our actual paid services, then shoot me a message. Other than that, have a nice day.